happy to have the Vulcans here with us today. So, where are the Vulcans from? Mechanicsburg, yeah. Pennsylvania, originally. All right. But, um, now we're kind of everywhere between Mechanicsburg and Philadelphia. Yeah. And where does uh, where does your music playing take you guys? Where do you guys, where do you guys typically play? Um, we play at uh, bars or festivals like this. We played at um, Firefly Music Festival. Um, and even just like listening like, rooms like yeah. uh, for Daniels and some of yeah. House shows. Okay. Yeah, house shows are our favorites. Right. Right. So that's very uh, diverse kind of uh, experiences that you have musically. Uh, yeah. What is something that is challenging about playing the kind of music you play? Not that I want to label it, but uh, you know, if you turn on the radio, I'm not quite sure that's going to be the first thing you hear. So what, what's challenging about playing your music out and getting it into people's ears? Hmm. I would say, honestly, people see a banjo and a mandolin oftentimes and they, they if they're not into that kind of music, they immediately think that there's like nothing in it for them. Okay. And um, I would have put myself in that category for a long time. Mm -hmm. But honestly, like uh, knowing the stripped down and the like honest nature of, of folk music, and um, and I think that we take we kind of put our own little um, modern twist on it. And I, I think that there's we kind of make it so that there's something for everybody in our music. Yeah, I think that's it's kind of progressing as well. Like you know people. People see a banjo and they're like, "Yeah, okay." Mm -hmm. like, so it's, <laughs> get, cool it's getting now. better. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like, all right, I'm gonna thank Muffin and Sons for making well. banjos. You know, after talking about where you play your music and kind of the challenges uh, that you experience with it, why don't we give our listeners an opportunity to hear something from Vulcans? Should play something for us. Cool. Uh, this one's called uh, "Ready Get Running." <laughs>
If I was to ask you guys to kind of jump out of your music bones, though, because um, you're talking about your influences, you're talking about your musical experiences, um, where writing comes from. If you could just jump out of your music bones, maybe I'd like to hear, like, individually, what is something else that is, like, a force in your life that inspires you or drives you, whether it be a worldly issue or just, you know, something that kind of really pushes you to, to think and maybe even spills over into your music? Um, I think, well, at least for, like, John and I, like, you know, I feel like something that's important for me is like love and relationships and just like, you know, the interactions we have with people and like how that makes us feel like emotions and like stuff like that. That influences our, yeah. our writing style for sure. Yeah, my writing style is uh, very personal. A lot of I and yeah. okay. me and everything <laughs> like that. Um, which is, you know, it was a kind of a revelation a few years ago after I wrote the one of my first songs where I was just expressing how I was feeling and it's kind of this floodgate. I said, oh, I can do this? Like, this is this feel, this is great. This is a great outlet for me. Um, and I know for me, like, I have a lot of artists. I have an artist in mind every time I write a song that I want it to sound like that. And sure enough, it never sounds like the artist. Mm -hmm. But again, like, Which is great. it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know, it ends up... You know, I want to sound like Bob Dylan, and I think in my head I sound like Bob Dylan, then I bring it to the guys, and it doesn't sound like Bob Dylan, <laughs> but that's good, right? because we don't want yeah. to be Bob Dylan, we want to be Vulcans. Yeah. Hey, we're Vulcans, uh, the song is called Feel No Fear. One, two, one, two, three.